Hi, uh, today I have with me uh, Mr. Jayant Chaudhary, uh, the MP from Mathura, from Rashtriya Lokdal Party. And we're going to speak about uh, uh, the IT rules uh, which, which, which came up for discussion in Parliament. And I'm going to start by asking uh, Jayant, you know, what made you uh, raise this issue in Parliament? Well, uh, you know, the, the rules were issued in April. Uh, so, and, and once they came out, there was, you know, a lot of news stories in the media. A lot of people uh, like you, uh, you know, right thinking individuals who thought that uh, internet as one of the most democratic means of media was going to be badly affected by this. Uh, so they were voicing their opinion. So I read a few articles and then uh, we work with the PRS legislative research. And we actually do a Thursday briefing session for, for members of parliament. I'm a co-convener of that. So one of, during one of the sessions, uh, you know, PRS, uh, Madhva, and so they, they, they came up to us and they approached the MPs and they did a session with us on subordinate legislation and they took up this, these particular rules. And so they briefed a number of MPs on this issue. And so then uh, I formed my own opinions and, and I, I thought that it's an issue that needed intervention. So I did step in. I used uh, Rule 377, where you give a written note of about 150 to 180 words. You submit it, and then it's mandatory for the ministry to come back to you. I've recently received a reply from the ministry as well. Okay. So where do you where do you see this going? You know, what would be the next steps uh, in terms of uh, what happened in, in Parliament, and what what might happen to the to the legislation itself? See, um, the way subordinate legislation works now, several acts leave a scope for the executive to come in, step in and, and define things a little uh, more specifically. So uh, in the IT Act and in the Amendment Act, if you see the spirit of the Amendment Act, it, broadly it was to encourage e-commerce. Uh, if you look at the spirit of the rules, it seemed more to uh, you know using security as a way of stepping in and uh, somehow interfering in the process. So, I think that the rules are going to be turn out to be undemocratic, and they'll infringe on, uh, you know, rights, freedom of expression, and also right to privacy as well. So I raised that issue in my particular note. Um, I've received a reply from the ministry. Uh, the way things are is that subordinate legislation goes to a committee. So there's a committee of I think 15 MPs, and uh, now they will take it up. And as a member of parliament, you can always raise the issue on the floor of the house and initiate a debate on the issue as well. Uh, during the next session, I will try to get a debate in, in the session on this issue. And I will also write to the committee, asking them to look into the rules and see if uh, uh, they are, you know, as per what uh, the constitution allows. Right. Uh, now, uh, tell me this. Uh, how do you, as, as this uh, as an example, right, how do you see uh, constituents or members of the public engaging you as an MP, you know, how how do you think it could be done in a more, uh, in a productive way to enable you to, uh, you know, put across these kind of issues in parliament? Broadly, I think uh, there is space for some sort of an organized effort at at engaging people uh, because if, at an individual level, the interest levels vary and sometimes people don't have the resources. I've come across uh, several villagers who are very involved, who are very aware, but they don't know how, they don't know where, they don't know when. Uh, similarly, in the cities, rural educated people would, would like to have a say, but they don't know how to approach their MPs. So some sort of organization, if, if it can go to the constituency and somehow reach out at, at, at a macro level to the grassroots with, uh, with a sort of, you know, uh, sort of organized message, then it might help. As MPs, we, I mean, we are constantly doing mass contact programs. But I find my own experiences. A lot of times, people are not aware of actually what your legislative duties are. Uh, and today, with the role of media, elections are more about you know personalized connections. So, if you can send out an SMS to the constituent or your worker, or if you can go attend a wedding and be seen doing these things, it seems to be today more important than it was earlier. So earlier there was, you know, one big meeting, one big rally, and they would talk about their election manifestos. Today you don't get that sort of public media hue and cry attention about manifestos, about issues in media. And you, in one meeting you can't win, a, win an election, you have to go door to door campaign. So one of the consequences of that, 
one of the consequences of that has been that it is more about the personalized sort of message that MPs convey. Mm. So therefore, I find uh, sometimes lacking is uh, when, when people come to me and approach me as a member of parliament, my constituents come to me with their problems. A lot of times problems are not issues where I should intervene. There will be cases that police, uh, thana, you know, some sort of police officer, official is not undertaking inquiry properly. That's not for me, that's for his superior to I cannot decide who's guilty, who's innocent, they'll say, Hamne to kuch kiya. Mm. things like that. So where courts and other institutions should be intervening, where the district administration should be intervening, where uh, other councillors you know, in the municipalities, um, ke pradhan, where it is their responsibility, a lot of times legislators are approached. And a lot of times due to peer pressure, public pressure, they do intervene. So I find that if people are made more aware of the legislative duties, if people look at our parliamentary role as primary and then vote on that account, then perhaps you will get a better democracy. So any organization that works to that end, I think it needs our encouragement. Thanks, uh, Jain. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Thanks. And uh, we wish you all the best. And uh, let's hope the IT rules also see a very positive outcome for everyone. Change is essential, I think. Change is essential. Thank you. Thank you.